Access granted. Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do some basic program reversing. Um, I do not condone program reversing for illegal uses. Uh, this is just merely for educational purposes, so with all that legal stuff out of the way, let me go ahead and get started. Uh, the, first, the program we're going to do today, because it has no, uh, it's not packed or anything, so it has no protection, and um, the crack needed to make the program function after its trial period is pretty simple and pretty straightforward, and I, I think it's something that you can follow along and understand. Okay, so you're going to need two things. Um, the program's called FNTech HTTP Packet Sniffer, and um, here's the name for you. It's the H FNTech HTTP Packet Sniffer, and uh, it's ehsniffer.exe would be the executable. So you're going to need that. Um, I went ahead and let this expire, and um, you see if I click register, it's, it's not going to let me do it. If I click by now, it'll bring me to a website or something. But I don't want to. I don't want to pay for it. I like using it. It's fun. But I don't want to pay for it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and crack this. Okay. Now this program is pretty simple to do. Um, it's it's probably a good program to start with. Um, so the second program you're going to need is uh, Ollie DBG, which is Ollie Debugger. You can use this, or you can use IDA Pro. IDA Pro is really advanced, um, but I I like Ollie for this demonstration. So we'll go ahead and use Ollie. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and load up the uh, HTTP packet sniffer. You can drag and drop it in Ollie. Now, whenever you load this in here, the first thing you always want you always want to do is go to executable modules or hit Alt E, and then go to your base address, which is usually for like forty thousand or four hundred thousand, whatever that is in hex. Um, but then you just want to go ahead and double click that. Now you're in the main module exe. You can go ahead and minimize that if you want, maximize this. Um, so let's let's go back. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what it says wrong serial or wrong user or serial number okay well that's what we need to fix so let's go ahead and go ahead and go back to Ollie and we'll right click uh, search for all reference strings and we'll hit control F bring up our search window we'll type in wrong the first one's not it, it says wrong format so we'll go ahead and hold control and hit L again to search next and the next one is wrong user or serial number now you'll notice right above this it says thank you for supporting our software so that's something we might want to look into a little bit later but for now um, they look pretty close in the address so you know what we, let's go ahead and look let's have a look alright so here we are this is our function this looks like um, some sort of message box or something um, it has two arguments okay so look at this thank you for supporting our software well look at that that looks like what where we need to go, right there. Huh. Okay. Now, if you look here, um, you can tell that the uh, this this function has two outcomes. It's probably a boolean. It's either true or false. When you enter your registration and everything, it'll check it, and then if it's right, it'll jump here. Okay. Jumps from four one six four one six C three four. Okay, so if and it's wrong, it'll probably jump here, and it has three different places it'll jump from. So it probably has three functions that will check and make sure that the it's one's probably for the name, one's probably for the serial, and one's probably some other junk. Okay, but to bypass this really easily, um, now another thing you have to do is your registers. You have to watch out for your registers because if you were to just um, put in some random code here and and the register, because this is the stack here. And the stack kind of works like, um, like, a, like a pile of plates. You put something on, it's the first thing to come off. You can't go to the bottom of the stack and grab the bottom plate and, and pull it and use it. The whole, the whole thing will just crumble down, right? You have to grab the top first, okay? So it goes in one way and comes out backwards. So what you're going to need to do is we'll go ahead and look here. Okay, these, at the end of both these functions here, they all call the same address which is this uh, 44549F, 44549F, okay? So let's go ahead, and it looks like, um, see this return here? That means that it's wrong, so it's going to go back. So that's not what we want. This jump right here looks like what we need. It's going to jump probably to the main the main program code. I'm not going to, it's a pretty long jump, so I'm not going to scroll all the way down for it. But um, a simple way to bypass this would be, um, if you look, they both push O, push O, and then they push the offset, which is this text here. So they're, what they're doing is saying, okay, I, I need you to 
push this out of the way, push this out of the way, and push this onto the stack. Next, I'm going to call this using this parameter above it. Okay. So, and, and then once it does that, it's going to pop out the rest of the registers, and then it's going to add the four, and then it's going to jump to the normal program. Now, I know this from a little bit of experience, but um, you might not be able to, to look at ASM code like that and understand it as well. So, but what we're going to do for this example is we're just going to go ahead and take this um, this piece of code here, and instead of pushing um, in, instead of pushing the wrong serial or user number, we're going to go ahead and jump up here and push. Thank you for supporting our software. Now, mind you, that's not the that's not the reason why it's going to work. The reason it's going to work is because it's going to jump up here, and instead of pushing this, it's going to actually push this. So instead of seeing wrong user or serial number it's going to see thank you for supporting our software now the most important thing happens after this call because no matter what's pushed once it gets to this call that's that's where the magic happens so this right here is where it starts unloading that little message box and then it jumps to the normal code so we're not jumping up here just so it says that we're jumping to get into this line of code and then it'll execute down and then jump into the uh, normal program and get you away from that trial thing so let's go ahead and try that so we'll go ahead and go here. Let's go here. Let's click here first. We'll right click, go to edit, copy address. We'll go here. We'll go to assemble. We'll do keep size and then fill. Re you always want to keep the size because if you don't and there's not enough room in the program, you're going to crash it and, and it'll never work. So we'll go ahead and keep size and we'll do JMP, which is ASM for jump. And then we'll go ahead and put in that address. Okay. Let's see if it accepts it. And it sure does. We definitely have enough room for that. So now what that's going to do is there's calls um, from here and it's from uh, these three addresses. Okay, so either way we're going to bypass. So either way from those three checks, it's going to jump here and tell us that it was wrong. But instead of going individually and fixing those three jumps, we'll just come to the location and all three of them jump to. So once that's done, we want to make sure that we push zero zero because this one pushes zero zero up here. So we'll push zero zero, then we'll jump in and just steal this line of code right here with our own okay so we'll jump back up here it'll call it execute through the rest of the program and if luck would have it we should be able to get it to work so um, as you've seen it said uh, invalid whatever it said I forget um, oh, I have two of them open well, let's see which one it is okay thank you for, let's see what this one says see this was the original message box wrong user or serial number okay so when you hit ok you can you, there's no way you can get by that so I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out this one says thank you for supporting our software now note that doesn't mean that it's cracked that because all we did was move our text into that message box and called it but the magic's gonna happen after this as I explained to you before which is an ollie see all we did right now the only part of code right is, is right here we pushed um, and because we're actually right here in this code okay but we jumped up to here so after this registers, it's going to call that, and then it's going to come down, it's going to pop all the registers, and jump to the original line of code. So we'll go ahead and hit OK, and look at that. Unregistered version, but yet <coughs> our trial is expired, but yet we can use this program. And look at that, let's see. Yep, it works. Go ahead and stop that. And I'll go ahead and exit Ollie, and I'll end the tutorial here. Uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.